thank you so much, Mike Edkin, for just joining us. Um, it, I'm really excited about the launch of Entree and just talking with you today. People may not know this, but you are a very effective communicator, and I just love hearing your thoughts on things. And you were in the center of Entree and getting it to market. And so super excited to hear from you. Um, you know, one of the reasons why I wanted to talk with you is eating and ordering a meal is a, a human basic need, right? And so as a human basic need, it requires humans to solve those needs. And we have a lot of awesome humans at Computrition, and you are one of them. And so hearing your thoughts, your passions behind what you do, I think it's just exciting. Um, so thank you for joining us. Wow. Thanks, Jen. Thanks for the uh, the intro and all the compliments. That's that's amazing. Thank you. I do what I can. I do what I can. So, um, Mike, if you wouldn't mind just sharing your position at Computrition and just how you're involved with HS Entree. Yeah. I mean, Computrition has been around for a while, for many, many years, 30 plus years, but um, it's a small company. Uh, we all know each other. And so it doesn't necessarily have that startup frantic feel, but as a small company, you have the ability to take on multiple roles. So I'm a, I'm the chief architect for R and I'm a director of R and I'm a security officer uh, for the team building Entree. I'm the tech team lead, which means I help set the technical direction for the team. I make sure that uh, everyone's moving in the right technical direction. Uh, and so it's a team of uh, several developers, several QA designer, product manager, myself, uh, and all together, we, we build this great product. Oh, no, thank you. Um, speaking of processes and technology, you know, are there new, were there new processes and um, technologies that you implemented as you were working on the development of Entree? Um, I have to say it, it's not really new from a technology standpoint. We've been working in web application space for a little while now, but it's a different target audience. So our normal target audience are the the food service people working at hospitals behind the scenes. Entree is geared for the patient right there in the hospital. And it's a different user that we have to be uh, very careful with. We need to make sure we're building a very intuitive design app. Uh, but also the technology is slightly different because in a BYOD, a bring your own device scenario, uh, patients are bringing their mobile device, it's their phone. It's very different than laptops or desktops that people in the back office will use. And how do you feel like, because this is something that is a different target audience that was geared towards patients versus, you know, our normal persona, did you have different conversations and collaborations and your, you know, week or daily standups and um, different development meetings? Um, how were the, how was that? Yeah, so the our process is still the same. It's an agile-based process, but we're very collaborative. And so we're taking into account a, a different end user. And so we have to think about things like uh, it's a small screen, <clears throat> excuse me, small screen, uh, small dimensions, making sure our application fits on that and is still intuitive, uh, that they don't have to scroll around too much to get to what they need, but they don't have to do presses or clicks many times to get there either. Uh, so there's definitely... A similar process, but different things we have to take into account as we go. Um, also, when you're going to a mobile device, we want to make the footprint of the app as small as possible. It's downloading over Wi-Fi. This isn't a app that you go to a uh, Apple Store or a Google uh, Play or something like that to download. This is a web app, and so it gets downloaded and pieces get downloaded with every action that you take. So. And we know that you love a good whiteboarding brainstorming session. How many did you do during <laughs> during this this process? <laughs> do many? Uh, well, I mean, our offices are just covered in, in whiteboard paint, uh, which I use all the time. Um, but but actually, it's it's a technical direction in an architecture is never a one time thing. It's never a hey, here's our map, let's go build it. It's it's iterative, and so. Part of that is you you iterate on the various steps along the way. So uh, if you've ever seen like an architectural diagram, it's got a lot of funny boxes and lines. And when you look at it all at once, it might seem overwhelming. But if you take it piece by piece and chunk by chunk, then it becomes easier to understand and digest. And so when we're collaborating with a whiteboard, for example, 
were focused on certain pieces, making sure they worked onto themselves. And then we add on a chunk, make sure that will work, add on a chunk, and eventually it becomes an entire ecosystem. Um, and I guess just one of the last questions that I have is, you know, why do you believe this is such an important product for Computrition to release? Uh, there's all sorts of answers to that, but I, I think the big one here again is we're going to work directly with patients. Our application is going to go directly to patients and that helps our customers. Our customers is the, the hospital, healthcare, food service staff, and it helps them not be overwhelmed. Uh, everyone's got staffing shortages these days. Um, and so this is a scenario where those hospitals that have staffing sh shortages, they don't have to all go to every patient's room to take their food order. They can give them an app. The patient can use their phone. They go to a URL. They download the app basically by just browsing to a site and they interact with it and they can place their order. And so everything from that point forward takes the normal workflow of a patient food order. It just eases the hospital staff. I love that. I, I think so much of, I know on the marketing side, when we were thinking about the UI, the name, you know, things related to the branding of HS Entree, so much of it came back to the ethos of being in a hospital and creating just a quality meal experience for patients, um, one that they would experience outside of a hospital. You know, we all use ordering apps in our day to day. And so how can we replicate that experience in a hospital, and especially when people often are in hospitals, whether that's, you know, recovering or healing from from something or it's a moment of joy and, and they've given uh, there's new life. You know, there's a lot that of different stories that happen in a hospital. And so, you know, I've thought of, I think about just different times I've been in one and how often the patients look forward to a meal. I mean, like we all look forward to a meal, right? And so I, I just, how, how we're able to, through HS Entree, make ordering smarter, more effective and easier experience for our patients, I think really is an exciting um, thing for Computrition. And I hope you feel proud of it because as, the, as all the different titles that you hold at Computrition, the work that you did helped drive it to market and to the patient's hands. So thank you so much for everything that you do for us, Mike. Um, we're super excited for HS Entree to come out. Yeah, thanks, Jen. It's been great working with this team, but also it was a whole team effort. And I think we're all pretty proud of where it ended up.